Do you know when Jesus looks at the church? He doesn't see a building. When he looks at the church, he doesn't see a denomination. He sees people. He sees you and me. He sees family. We are the family of God. We are the body of Christ. We are Him in the earth. Jesus still continues His ministry today. He does it through us, the body of Christ. Jesus changed the world. He changed the world one person at a time. When my brother met the Lord, his life was changed. When I met the Lord, my life was changed. When you met the Lord, your life was changed. To meet Jesus is to be changed. When someone was sick and they were in his presence, he healed them, they were changed. When he came across those who were in need, he brought change. Wherever Jesus went, things were better. People got stronger. People got healthy. Jesus brings change. He's the only one that can bring change. And he brings change from the inside out. He changes you so that you can change others. Jesus went about doing good. It tells us in the book of Acts, chapter 10, verse 38. How God anointed Jesus with the Holy Ghost and with power. Who went about doing good in healing everyone who was oppressed of the devil. The word that I have for you this morning is I pray for you. Is the word change. This man by his humble life has to tune by his humble life. By his love for God, in his love for others, brought change. You are better, Bon Jai, because of this man. Because he knew God. Because he obeyed God. And he wants us to continue that way today. When things change, that means what was will no longer continue. Things are going to change. When Jesus is involved, change is always good. Our problem, yours and mine, we don't like change. We want things to stay as they've been. If you have your Bibles with you this morning, 
Please open to the Gospel of John. Chapter 13. Uh, chapter 13. <coughs> In John chapter 13. I'm going to turn this way so it can. Doesn't affect the Bible. Chapter 13, verse 1. Now, before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour was come, that he should depart out of this world unto the Father. Having loved his own, which were with in the world, he loved them unto the end. Quand une des grandes pascas, Jésus ont sa quoi? Il veut la laisser pour qu'on puisse songe à l'homme qui paye un pavilla. Pour qu'on songe à pour qu'on puisse songe à l'homme qui paye un pavilla. Pour qu'on songe à pour qu'on puisse songe à l'homme qui paye un pavilla. Jésus enjoyed his ministry. Ah, Jésus ne pas pour qu'on songe à pour qu'on puisse songe à l'homme qui paye un pavilla. He loved being with his disciples. He loved seeing people healed, helped, and healed. But he knew his time for change had come. The season has changed. The season has come. It's time for him to go. He knew that that time was now. Things were about to change for everyone. So he brought his disciples together and began to speak to them. Now the disciples could sense that things are changing. Jesus is different. It feels like something major is about to change. So Jesus begins to talk to him. Verse 2. And supper being ended, the devil having now put into the heart of Jesus, Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, to betray him. ขณะเมื่อรับประทานอาหารในอยู่นั้นมารได้โดนใจยูดาสอิสคาริโอตบุตรของซีโมนให้อายัดพงไว้ Jesus knowing that the Father had given all things under His hands and that He was come from God and went to God. พระเยซูทรงทราบว่าพระบิดาได้ประทานสิ่งทั้งปวงให้อยู่ในพระหัตถ์ของพระองค์และทรงทราบว่าพระองค์มาจากพระเจ้าและจะไปหาพระเจ้า He rises from supper, laid aside his garments. Took a towel and girded himself. Ong Song looked up. After the meal, Ong Song put his hands on his head and put his hands on his head. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with a the towel wherewith he was girded. Then Ong Song took water and wiped them with a towel wherewith he was girded. Then Ong Song took water and wiped them with a towel wherewith he was girded. Then Ong Song took water and wiped them with a towel wherewith he was girded. Then Ong Song took water and wiped them with a towel wherewith he was girded. Then Ong Song took water and wiped them with a towel wherewith he was The disciples didn't understand what Jesus was doing. Peter, remember, said, "Lord, don't do this." Jesus said, "I must do this." What I do now, you do not understand. But in time, you will. Jesus was giving them an example. Jesus, who is the greatest leader who ever lived. Jesus, who is the King of kings and Lord of lords. Humbled himself and washed their feet. In time, you'll understand what I'm doing. To be great among you, the greatest among you is that that person who is the servant of all of you. Servant. 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 Servant.
Serving God is serving people. Serving God is serving people. He was a humble servant. At times we don't understand humility. We don't understand what it means to serve. Sometimes I think we look at the pastor the wrong way. And we see his authority figure in a building with people who are gathered. People who are together in a building. And we call that church. And certainly we can have church that way. But what we did just a few minutes ago when we all greeted one another, that's what church looks like. We are a family. We love God. We love each other. We have a mission. We have an assignment. We have a job. And that's the change. To bring change. We are the ones that bring change. Jesus told his disciples, it's better that I'm here. It's better for you that I go. In John chapter 16, after Jesus had spent much time talking to his disciples, In verse 33, these things have I spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. There's no escaping trouble. It's in the world around us. Our job as Christians is not to escape trouble. But to face it without fear. To face it with boldness. Because we can do something about the things that are wrong. Jesus wants us to do what he did. He wants us to change the world. Jesus said it's better than I'm going. So that what's in me will come in you. What? I want you to be like me. I want you to do what I do. You cannot do it without me. One of the things that he told his disciples is that I am the vine and you are the branches. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you'll bear fruit. You'll bring change. God wants his church to bring change. He wants his church to be a strong church. We don't want things to change. But it's time for change. Jesus is in this change. I see in this church, Bhagavad Jai, I see faith. I see faith in God. This church started in very humble beginnings. A few people that gathered under trees. 
And now look at this building. This is a church that believes God. This is a church of faith. This is a church that Jesus has called to do great things. What he simply needs from you is to know that he loves you. That he has not left you. Will never leave you. He is with you. And he wants to bring change. Lives are changed when we obey God. I believe that God wants to do great things in Bangun John. In 1 John chapter 5, in verse 4, it says this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. Who is he that overcomes, but he that believes that Jesus is the Son of God? Jesus said, be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Be of good cheer. Yeah, be happy. I have overcome the world. As I read that, something stood out to me. Jesus is about to face the cross. Jesus is about to be tortured, the crown of thorns upon his head. He was about to suffer. He knew what was waiting for. You remember in the garden he prayed and great drops like of blood were streaming down his face as he was praying. He knew what was coming. He said, Lord, if it's possible, let this cup pass from me. I don't want to go here. I don't want to have to do this. Nevertheless, not my will, but your will be done. The Father told him what his will was. Jesus knew what the will of the Father was. And so he had a change of heart, a change of attitude. There was joy set before him. Past the pain, past the trouble. He saw something. Sometimes it's hard to look past the pain. Sometimes it's very hard to get past the struggles as you're going through. But our eyes need to be on Jesus. Jesus looked past the cross. He looked past the suffering. And he saw his father. Thy will be done. And because he obeyed his father. The world continues to be changed today. The Bible says, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. When you're in trouble, look past. When you're in pain, look past. When you don't like what's happening, look past. The Bible says in Romans, the God of all hope, fill you, overflow, 
fill you. With joy and peace in believing that you may overflow or abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. God sees great things for Bhagavan Jai. This man has given his life. We must likewise give our life to the cause of Christ. We need to be strong in our faith. We need to look past. Past the pain. Past the trouble. Keep our eyes on God. And believe it with God. All things are possible. This city can change. This nation can change. God wants his people to rise up. He wants the kind of faith that believes that out of a tree where we meet, we can have a building. We can serve a mighty God. And see things change. As we share the gospel, as we go here and there, we have good news. Jesus can change your life. Hallelujah. Change. Say change. We need change. When God is changing us, things are better. Hallelujah. Better things are yet to come. I said better things are yet to come. Better things are yet to come. For this city. For this nation. We are the ones that he has called. We are the body of Christ. Jesus is in us. All of us. Together we are. The people he's called. To make the world a better place. To make the world the place that God inhabits. I had it in my heart this morning. I have, a, I have something in my heart. I believe, uh, I believe in the power of prayer, don't you? I know that we have a loving, caring, heavenly Father. I believe that Jesus is looking over Bangram Jai right now. I believe that Pastor Prasad is looking over Bangram Jai right now. And I believe that Jesus and, but, and Pastor Prasad are saying, Will you rise up? Will you be strong? Will you help to bring change? Jesus helps us to bring change. We do it together with him. I want to pray for you this morning. I can ask the leaders to come up. Would you please come forward at this time? After we pray for the leaders, I'm going to ask the members of Bhagavad Gita to please come up also. We're going to lay hands on you and pray for you this morning. My faith is out for this. I believe that God is going to bring change to you. Change to Bhagavad Gita. Make you stronger. Make you wiser. Give you more understanding. And better uh, 
help you do what he's called you to do. Hallelujah. I'm going to invite the rest of the congregation. Please stand with me and extend your hands this way or pray as we pray together. Thank you.